Hey everyone, this is Steve from Metaslider, and in this video, we're going to be talking to Beaver Builder users. We're going to show you how you can use Metaslider to create a really good looking slideshow or carousel inside your Beaver Builder layouts. I have a new WordPress site here, and I'm going to go to the plugins area, and I'll install both Beaver Builder and also Metaslider. First, let me get Beaver Builder. And next, let me get Metaslider. And now I have both of those on my site. I'll go to the main plugin screen and activate both of them. And now I have the quick start screen for Metaslider. From this drop down, I will choose from the different options available. I'm going to choose a simple image slideshow for this example. And after a couple of seconds, Metaslider will add a whole bunch of sample images for me. There we go. These are the images for my slideshow. If you scroll down to the right side, you can see the short code you can use to add these to really any part of a WordPress site. If you click on it, the short code will be automatically copied to make it easier for you to use. Next, I'm going to go to the pages area of my WordPress site, and I have a page ready called Beaver Builder Slideshow. I'll click on the Beaver Builder option here. I'm now taken to the main Beaver Builder editing area, and I can start to hover my mouse over different areas on the page. If you see something much narrower than this, that will be based on your theme. Your theme is going to control how wide this area is. I have the default WordPress theme, which gives me a full width area here. Your theme may show something slightly different. What I'm going to do is add my Meta Slider slideshow to the Beaver Builder layout. And I'm going to do that by clicking on the plus icon in the top right corner. I need the WordPress widgets option up here. You don't need standard modules. You need WordPress widgets. And if you choose that, Metaslider should be one of the options that you can drag and drop onto your site. You can choose from the slideshows you have created. I only have one, so I'm going to keep with new slideshow. I'll click on save, and I should see a preview. There we have Metaslider live on my site. I'll click on done and I'll see what it looks like on the front of the site. You can navigate through the slides to see how they look. And if you want to make changes, you have a couple of options. Both of these are up in the admin toolbar. If you want to change the slides or the design of the slideshow, you go to Metaslider to the edit link and you'll be able to go directly to the slideshow. You can rearrange the images. If you want to make this really large, you can upload high resolution images. You can change the width and the height. You can make sure that it's 100%. You can choose a new theme for the slideshow. There's all sorts of things you can do to make the slideshow look as good as possible. I've made a couple of alterations here. Let's see what it looks like now. Okay. Instead of having the dots underneath, I now have large arrows to navigate the slideshow. And if I want to make further changes, I can just flick back and forth between the front end of Metaslider and the admin area. I can change my images. I can turn this into a carousel, for example. I can make all sorts of useful changes. Metaslider really has a ton of stylish options for you. This is what happens if you choose carousel mode. If the images are smaller than the space, you'll get multiple images on the screen at one time. If you want to change the design, you go to Metaslider and edit the slideshow. And if you want to change where it appears in the layout, you go to Beaver Builder and you can edit your Beaver Builder layout and happily move your good looking slideshow somewhere else on the page. But 
The key takeaway from this video is that Beaver Builder and Metaslider are a great combination. You can use the Beaver Builder plugin for free to create beautiful layouts, and you can use the Metaslider plugin to create beautiful and powerful slideshows. Give them both a try. They're both completely free to download and use from WordPress.org. Thank you.